guys, it's Sita here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about types of pets that I don't want to own slash can't own. I've seen a lot of other pet YouTubers make this video. I always find them quite interesting and since I constantly get asked if I'm going to own this animal or this animal or that animal, I thought I'd make a video about the animals that I will not ever be owning and um, why I can't own a lot of them. So a lot of the animals I'm going to talk about are illegal in New Zealand, which people always find super surprising that there are so many animals we can't get here. So I'm going to talk a bit about that because people always seem so surprised and don't realize that some countries can't get certain animals. Okay, so so the biggest thing I think that people are going to be shocked by, I will never, ever own a hamster. Now hold your horses, I know, I have mice, why would I not want a hamster? Everyone has a hamster when they're a child and they put it in a tiny cage and neglect it, right? Well, surprise, hamsters are illegal in New Zealand. Yay! I know it's shocking, people always ask me, when are you getting a hamster? Can you please get a hamster and make videos on it and stuff? And I'm like... First of all, there's tons of YouTubers who make hamster videos. I watch heaps of hamster YouTubers even though I'll never be able to own one. I probably know more than the average hamster owner about hamsters and I'll never have one. Now I couldn't actually find a lot of information online as to why hamsters are illegal here. I'm pretty sure they're also illegal in Australia. I think the main reason they are is because they worry about them thriving in the wild and just overbreeding and eating like the native plants and stuff like that. I assume that's the case. I mean, I don't think a hamster would be able to live in the wild here, but you know, I guess I get it, you know, they want to protect our plants and our wildlife and stuff like that. And you know, we already have so many problems here with wild rats and ferrets and mice and weasels and possums and stuff that we're trying to get rid of because they kill all of our native birds. Here in New Zealand, we have lots of endangered um, bird species that are only in New Zealand, like the kiwi, the uh, kia, the pokeko, and there's a lot more. And most of them are very endangered, so they do worry about uh, more pests coming into the country and killing off our birds. So I totally understand that. I'm glad that they're very careful about that kind of stuff because it would be very horrible for all our birds to be extinct, and I hope that that never happens one day. Now, if hamsters were legal in New Zealand, would I get one? I'm not sure because one thing I know is that. Syrian hamsters are like really big which like okay they're not they're not big but like compared to mice they're actually like like huge like okay, to me they seem huge anyways because I always thought you know little hamsters like the same size as a mouse right and then I see people like holding them and they're like this big I'm like Jesus so like maybe but honestly I think I like mice more because mice can be kept together in groups as long as they're female or neutered male and hamsters have to be solitary and hamsters need like really big cages but you can only put like one little hamster in there so I kind of like mice more because you can put like a few mice in a really large tank and I don't know I think they're a little more interesting but also I've never had a hamster before so I don't know <laughs> so I'm sorry hamster people I do love them, I just, I don't have experience with them, so I don't really fully know what they're like. I just know what they're like from you watching YouTube videos. Alright, the next one is snakes. Snakes are also illegal in New Zealand for the reason I said before, they don't want them coming in and killing all our native birds, so that makes sense. Now, I love snakes. One of my favorite YouTube channels is Snake Discover. I've watched like literally all of their videos, even though I don't own snakes. <laughs> so yeah, I also know a lot about them but never be able to own them. But if they were illegal here, I don't think I would own them still because I have pet mice and I know that most snakes need to be fed frozen mice or rats and stuff and obviously that's fine, they need to eat. But I don't think I could personally do that. I think I'll just be too upset because I love mice and rats and yeah, I think it would just kind of gross me out a little bit just like having a bunch of dead mice in my freezer for my snake, you know? But I understand that that's their food, you know, obviously. I'm not saying, like, you shouldn't feed your snakes mice. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't think I personally could own a snake that had to be fed mice or rats. I know you can get, like, egg-eating snakes and stuff, but, like, in general, I kind of think snakes are a little bit of a boring pet. Like, I mean, they're cool as hell, but, like, you can't really, like hang out with them, like teach them stuff. I mean, maybe you can, I don't know. <laughs> but like, just from what I see, they don't seem like that interesting to look at. But um, I still think they're super cool. I still 
will continue to watch lots of videos on them because I find them really fascinating. Um, the next one is saltwater fish. So you guys know I have a lot of fish tanks. I think I have six fish tanks in total now. I used to have a lot more but I actually moved everything to bigger tanks so I could have less smaller tanks. So I could have less tanks but like bigger tanks you know what I mean but I don't think I would ever personally own saltwater fish I know my boyfriend he wants to own saltwater fish one day there are some stores here that sell saltwater fish but like they're heckin expensive if I was gonna own a saltwater fish I think it would be like a shrimp I don't remember what they're called like fire shrimp or something like that I don't know but I love shrimps and we can't get the cute little freshwater shrimps here that you can get in other countries we can't get them here which is so sad but we can get saltwater shrimps um, but they're like you know $160 for a shrimp you know a lot of extra care goes into saltwater tanks that I don't know if I would be that into you know like it's already a lot caring for all my freshwater tanks I'm not sure if I would be able to handle saltwater as well um, next one is big birds by that I mean like macaws cockatoos, galahs too probably, Indian ringnecks maybe, although I met a really cute Indian ringneck not long ago at a pet store. She was so freaking cute and like she wasn't for sale. My boyfriend actually wanted to buy her but she wasn't for sale. They said she was just a store pet but then a week later they sold her and we were just like so upset we wanted to see her again. That's sad. So like maybe Indian ringneck but like not macaw not cockatoo they are a lot of work first of all they're very expensive here and very hard to come by i've never seen a macaw in real life before maybe i've seen one at the zoo i think but it's super not common people to have them as pets here you mostly just see them at zoos because they they cost about ten thousand to twenty thousand dollars for a macaw here and that's just the bird. You still need to have like a cage, not even a cage, you need to have a whole room for them. And like, I don't think I could, I could deal with that. I like small birds. I like cockatiels and budgies and canaries. Um, I like lovebirds and lorikeets and stuff too. And conyers, but like, I don't think I'd ever get a big, big bird. Um, cockatoos are also insane from what I've heard. Um, apparently they're like having a three-year-old, but for like a hundred years. So I don't think I could deal with that. I watched a lot of videos on them. Oh my god, they seem like so much work and I definitely don't think I could do that. <laughs> okay, the next one's kind of like a questionable one. Rabbits and guinea pigs. So this is kind of more of a one that I, I wouldn't count on me not having one day, but it's not something I am like super into, you know? My boyfriend loves rabbits, so maybe one day, but like they're adorable, obviously. I've never had them before, but like, again, they need a lot of room they need like like rabbits need like a whole ass room for themselves in your house so like I don't think I would ever have the space for that but again this is kind of more of like a maybe one you know like don't be surprised if I do end up getting rabbits in the future but it's not something I'm like super like yes I want this you know I want to get my own house first and like have you know a big big enough room for just them. But if I could choose between bunnies or guinea pigs, I'd probably go with bunnies. Just from what I've heard, they're a little bit more interesting <laughs> than guinea pigs. No offense. I'm sorry. Don't come for me, guinea pig fans. Okay, next thing is ferrets. Now, don't get me wrong. Again, I love ferrets. I think they're so cute. I see them all the time on TikTok. They're like just insane. They run around. They're crazy. I love them. But again, they're illegal to keep as pets here, um, which sucks. They actually used to be legal. They only made them illegal like in 2001 or something, which is the year I was born. You know, kill because we do have wild ferrets here that do kill our native birds and stuff, which sucks because they're so cute and I would love to have ferrets if they were legal here. But actually, I had this super weird situation like not too long ago. Um, one time I went to a pet store, it's like not a chain pet store, it's like one that's kind of like far away in the middle of nowhere. This lady comes in with two ferrets, like pet ferrets, and I'm just like, oh my god. And she let me hold them, I have a picture of me holding one, but like, they're not legal to keep as pets here. I was like, how do you have them? Aren't they like illegal? And she's like, oh no, they're not. I did some research and like, I think you can have them if you have some kind of permit and if they're used for like hunting. I don't know, I don't know how that works, but I hope that she had them legally because I don't know how you would get them vet checked if they're not legal. I don't think any vets would even be able to do anything because no one has pet ferrets here. But anyways, they were super cute, but like, 
holy shit they smell so bad i guess males like scent mark things i don't know if like they have to be removed in other countries because i've never heard of anyone saying this smelly before but these guys were so smelly she had a male and a female i got to hold the male lucky me he scent marked all over me and my clothes smelt so horrible for the rest of the day until i could put them in the wash obviously my phone smelt like ferret for like a week it was so disgusting but i got to hold a ferret so you know worth smelling like pee that was a really interesting experience i hope i get to see those ferrets again one day next one is geckos so we can get geckos here the only geckos that we can get here without having a permit is leopard geckos there is a pencil that sells them near me but the thing is, for a normal, just basic morph, we can't get other morphs here, just a normal looking leopard gecko, they're $500. Yes, $500. Now you can probably find a breeder that would sell them for cheaper, like $300 or something is what I've seen. But um, that's a lot because from what I've heard, in America, for a basic ass leopard gecko, they're like $15 to $20, which is like... 35, 40 New Zealand dollars, but I guess they must be expensive to import or something because holy shit, $500 is a lot for a little tiny gecko. They are very cute though, and um, maybe if, if they weren't so expensive, I would be more interested, but you know, that's a lot, and you still gotta get a big, you know, terrarium for them. And you can also get native geckos here, but you do need to have a permit to have them, and I guess you have to like catch them yourself. <laughs> There's different lizards that I'm more interested in, like um, blue tongue skink is something that I would love to own in the future. And they actually cost less than leopard geckos for some reason, like $400. But I find them a bit more interesting than leopard geckos. And I already have frogs, which like seem kind of similar to leopard geckos. They kind of just sit there and eat, and that's pretty much it. Now, the last thing I have on my list is chinchillas. Chinchillas are a very common pet here. I'm not sure if they are in other countries because I don't really see a lot about them. I've seen them quite a lot. I've met people that have them as pets. They look really cool, but honestly, they're kind of boring. Like, they just, they're nocturnal. They sleep all day and they come in at night. Um, from what I've experienced anyway, every time I see chinchillas at a pet store, they're asleep. Every time I've gone to someone's house and they have chinchillas, they're asleep. So, yeah. Just from those experiences, I'm not that interested in them. But again, maybe I'm wrong. You know, I haven't done a lot of research about chinchillas, but it's not something I'm really interested in. I'd rather have rats or my mice. So yeah, that's all I have on my list. There's definitely probably more animals that I wouldn't want as pets. Um, like certain types of dog breeds, like big dogs or something like that, or pugs. I used to love pugs. Before I had Toby, I actually was doing a lot of research into getting a pug until I discovered they had so many breathing problems because of their smushed in faces. So as much as I love them, I think they're adorable and I still would love one one day. I would never support the breeding of pugs. I think it's cruel to be honest and I would only ever get a pug or a similar, you know, smushed in dog, like a French bulldog, something like that, if it was like from an adoption or rescue center, something like that. I would never support the breeding of them. That's just my opinion. I still like them as animals. I just don't support breeding animals that have really bad breathing problems. I'm not trying to bash anyone that has like a pug from a breed or anything like that. I'm not saying that all breeders are bad because I don't agree with that. I'm just saying breeding dogs that have health problems in the future and breathing problems, I don't think that's right. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Maybe one day if you guys liked this video, I'll do a video where I talk about the animals that I would like to own in the future. I think this was pretty fun. I've been wanting to do it for a while, so I hope you guys liked it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!